What's up, YouTube? Back at it again with another vlog. What's up, guys? Chris here. Be going over everything wrong with my car right now. I feel like I need to make this video, especially with everything that I want to fix with it upcoming car season. I'm not going to be able to spend too much money, but I am going to be able to fix minor things on my car and then eventually move down the line. So let's get started. So you may be wondering, it's actually May 14th. I graduated this Saturday. I want to say thanks to everybody that uh, to my graduation and everything like that. <clears throat> it was a cool celebration. I don't really know if I'm going to post that video yet. We're going to go over my fitment. And this is the first thing that's wrong with my car. Wrong with my car. In my terms anyway. So right now, I'm sitting on 18s. The rears are 18 by 8 and a half plus 15. Not really uh, fond of the stretch right now. It's something that I really want to address this coming up season, but I'm okay with it. It's not like too bad of a situation, but I feel like it looks weird. And maybe the tires that I'm using, um, I'm using, I'm two, using two different sides because I had a, before, before I got these wheels, I had a little incident where I hit a curb and I popped one of my wheels and it was not a pretty sight, but uh, I had to get another set of tires on that side um, because I popped those two tires. Anyway, right now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be lowering the car. It's probably gonna be, it's, I'm just gonna be putting it on springs. Right now, I don't, like I said, I don't really have too much money to deal with or to contribute to my car project this season. That will definitely lower it enough for me to, you know, have some stance, better looks within the car. Uh, let's let's check out this fitment real quick. Check out that monster truck height right there. Some definite monster truck height. It's about a good. It's not that bad. It's about three fingers. Check the front. Three fingers, about the same. So the springs that I'm planning to get are actually an inch and a half lowering in the front and I believe inch in the rear. I also think that they're, what it's gonna do is gonna, I don't really think I'm gonna have to pull my fenders, but that's another thing that I'm gonna have to address as well, is I don't know if this slip right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this slip, I don't know if this is actually gonna rub when I lower the car, because the camber might actually take it in enough to where the tire won't rub the, the inside the fender. So it's something that um, I'm gonna definitely have to look at, figure out. So in the previous video, if you guys haven't watched that, go watch that video right now. The card up here somewhere. I was talking about my stretch, and my stretch on these tires are 255, 245 by 55, or 245 by 45, and 225s in the front. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 265s by 30 in the rear, and then 225, because I like that stretch, it, it doesn't look too bad in the front. 225, 30 in the front as well. Something that, you know, it's, it's a little simple, but it's gonna cost some money to put some tires on there. Number two, the number two thing about my car that's broken or wrong. So dirty, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see. I need to buff this out. Somebody backed up into me right here. It's gonna come out, I feel like it is. Obviously, I need to get a detail. But yeah, it's horrible. Um, it's, and then the wheel got scuffed. So I mentioned this in the other previous video again. Somebody backed up into me when I was at school and it, you know, pretty much ruined my day that day. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. All right, so number three isn't too bad of a problem, but it's something I do want to address as well. Headlights, the headlights are a little yellow. I'm not too sure if it's just because of the sun, if I need to refinish them or if I need to buy some new ones. But I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to refinish them or you know, sand them down and then a nice polish on them and hopefully they'll be clean and nicer. But I really don't like the way, I really don't like the way these headlights sit um, or the way that they look. So I really wanna put on some, uh, eyelids that'll go right here from the here to here I also really want to 
um, take these apart and paint these the inside black. So it's something that, you know, it's simple, but it takes time to do. Um, and it's, you know, it looks easy, but more than likely it's not. And this side's more yellow than the driver's side. Driver's side looks newer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, sand these down and rebuff them and hopefully they come out. Maybe I'll put clear on them, some clear paint, but I'm not too sure yet. So as I mentioned before, this car, when I hit a curb, um, I got some previous damage. So when I hit a curb, um, I went ahead and got some of the body fixed as well. But the paint that they replaced or they did is starting to chip. So I'm gonna get some, probably just like a paint pen. I'll show you guys has probably just saw that. I'm just gonna get some paint pen, fill those in. Another issue I'm dealing with with this car is probably, it's the same issue that goes on with this. The paint is the roof. Don't know exactly where how that's come to be, but it's come to be. And it's bothering me. Many of you might not know this, but I am a detail oriented person i'm kind of a perfectionist is somewhat um i really like my cars to be clean um it's something that i really strive for at the same time it's not something that i really like uh will complain about a lot but i will if, if you know when the time comes oh no it's starting to rain another issue number four or five i can't remember exactly what number we're at right now but uh, it's a big one, and it really bothers me a lot too as well. Um, G35s have a lot of issues with electricals just because I feel like they have, it's like the luxury option of the Nissan. When you get a car like this and it's a little older, you know, it's definitely gonna be something that you're gonna have to work on, uh, especially with a lot of the common things are the windows, uh, trunks, and the fuel pump. But that's something else I'm gonna talk about as well. But for right now, it's the trunk. I have my keys in my pocket and it does not open. It's an easy fix. I know how to fix it, but that's one of the issues that's wrong with my G35. And also I tried, you know, going into the car, pressing this button right here. Nada. Hey Chris man, go ahead and roll up your window bro. It's really windy outside. Oh man, you already know I got those automatic windows. You, your window bro. Oh let me let me let me try that again. Hey hey roll up your window. Sorry, uh let me try that again. Is it broken? So that's another issue is the window. The window motor, it works. It still rolls up. I could leave it that, that way. Um, it still works, still stays up. Um, that's a common issue with the G35. All right, so another issue that I run into, which is when I had the car, when I bought the car, I didn't know this. They didn't tell me. It was the fuel gauge. Fuel gauge does not put out the right measurement of fuel that I have left. And it's a pain in the ass. I have to, so every time that I fill up, reset my miles so that I'm able to know or how much left of a tank that I have. So I calculated about 18 to 19 miles per gallon, sometimes 17, depending on how I drive. Let me turn this off because I don't want it to die. <laughs> and it's an issue. I've already ran out of gas once. Another issue that I got fixed when I bought the car, they fixed it for me, was the air conditioning. I had the air conditioning for about a year. Um, I didn't use it during the winter, obviously. Uh, when it started getting hot here in New Mexico, 
I go went ahead and turned it on. So I went to the dentist's appointment, had it on, turned off the car, went into the dentist's appointment, came back out, turned on the car, and when I turned on the car, it went and I knew immediately what that was. That was probably the compressor or there was a leak that sprung from the air conditioning system. And I know where it's coming from. It's underneath the intake system. And I haven't been able to look at it. I've just been left, I just left it there because I've been so busy with other stuff. But I'm probably gonna take it to a shop because I don't have any vacuum. They have a special vacuum that they have to use for the Freon, I guess. I think that's correct. If not, let me know in the comment section below if that's correct or not. Also, it completely sucks because here in New Mexico, it gets hot really quick. And especially with this car, the leather seats, it's it's a horrible experience. And my, my car is permanently on full send because I don't have the AC on. <laughs> you know that meme about when you have the AC on? And somebody wants to race and you turn off the AC and you go on full on rocket power full on power right now so as I previously mentioned a lot of the stuff that goes wrong with these cars are the electrical systems and as you can see this gauge this uh, line right here I don't know what the hell you call it for my speedometer for my RPMs is a little bit brighter than this one and it recently started doing this, uh, I don't know when, but it started doing it pretty recently and I noticed it. It started blinking on this side, this one right here. And it completely went out, but now it came back. I think it has something to do with like the way it's mounted on here. Because when I push this back, it actually go, uh, turns on brighter. Um, it might be a light in there that's, you know, going out. I'm not too sure. Uh, another thing is my cruise control. My cruise control does not work, or it does work, but the set light does not go on unless I push this back. So you would think that everything looks good in this engine bay. It looks pretty clean. Oh, well, not clean, but it looks like everything is functional, you know, to some extent. But uh, this thing is pretty jank. Oh yeah, cool, thanks. Uh, just take that off with, uh, you know, some bolts. Actually not, I'm gonna put that back a little, <laughs> a little bit nicer. <laughs> so I just really wanna wash this engine bay as well. Something, another thing that I really wanna do. Um, there's also, apparently there's a leak on the uh, cam sensor O-ring. That's easily fixable. Um, I just gotta find out where, where they're at. So there are multiple issues with my G35. Obviously because it's an older car. Obviously because I bought it used. So it's not completely new car, obviously. It's something that I have to work on and it's something that I really wanna work on. Most of these issues are pretty solvable or pretty easily fixed with um, either some wrap on the roof um, I gotta get I'm gonna install some springs to lower my car I am going to take my car to the shop to get my AC fixed uh, get some o-rings to go ahead and fix that leak apparently there's a leak I'm not too sure get some new tires for my fitment so the fuel pump is the main issue that's gonna cost me like a, a, a lot uh, besides the air conditioner. There's a lot of things that they say that is wrong. Either it's really the gauge that's wrong in the cluster or it's actually the fuel pump or the fuel sending unit in the back of the car um, that's not or the fuel sensor level in the back of the car um, that's not working correctly but that's something that's also fixable it's just a little bit more expensive. I'm assuming the cluster might be a little bit more expensive or the fuel gauge to be more ex uh, expensive than the fuel sending unit or the fuel sensor. Easily fixable issue. I have a lot to work on this car season and I'm gonna be doing a lot more car content as much as possible because I am gonna be doing maintenance on this car as well as um, putting some more cool stuff on this car. 
I'm also planning on getting a grill maybe possibly um, other than that I'm gonna be just maybe taking out the muffler muffler delete uh, lowering the car fixing the headlights see my fitment and then also fixing you know minor details with the car as well as getting the air conditioner fixed and the fuel sending it. That's pretty much all the problems that I have with my car right now. Hopefully nothing, you know, arises within that time period. Another thing is actually I need to do my brakes. That's something that's pretty, you know, standard with every car that we have going around. You know, you're gonna have to change your brakes eventually, but that's a big issue as well. Just my front brakes. I did my rear brakes, but just my front brakes I need to fix. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, please like this video, comment down below if you guys own a car and what's wrong with your car, what do you need to fix this car season? Or if you own a G35, what's your common issue that you run into? Peace out guys, and I hope to see you in the next video.